here are three things that are going to help you in Procreate Dreams to better your animation within it. As you can tell if you've ever opened this app, there are things that Procreate hid and didn't make it easy for you as the user to be able to do. Number one, masking has been one of the most time-saving tips that I've found within Procreate Dreams. So masking is the ability to have this sentence go across that black frame without having to erase each individual layer. So how is this done? Within this group of layers, I have the cow, which I've grouped together, which is dead. The, uh, the I wanna call it an Oculus. The VR headset as a separate layer, but I also have that black square and this text. I've already done my keyframes for this text layer. This text layer is gonna go from point A to point B. And I want it to go across the second layer, the second layer of the black screen. But I don't want to sit there and erase it all because it's going to take forever, especially when you're going frame by frame by frame. You're going to have to split those. You're going to have to do each way too much time. Procreate Dreams has already done this kind of in advance for you. What do I mean by that? If you were to hold down that layer and you hit clip mask, it's going to take that bottom layer and it automatically confines it to that one space. Number two, keyframe recording. Keyframe recording is the ability to take your track, lift it up with your pen, and drag it along, and it automatically records. Now, I've gone over some of this in my latest video, but this is actually a very helpful trick when you want, let's say, the bot to have a more natural look. And I didn't like it at first because I didn't know how to use it. I like to draw a lot of my drawings within Procreate and then bring them over into Procreate Dreams. Drag it over and plop it into a new track. And I could technically hit each keyframe. I'm gonna hit this handy dandy record button and I'm gonna come up and I'm gonna come down. So when I go to play it, it keyframes it all for me. This has been a time saver for me as well. Number three, filters. It's just an underutilized tool. It's so much easier than having to guess at it. So my favorite right now is opacity. If I wanted to bring his eye and say, I instead of get going from right off to on, I wanted to come in. I'm going to hit filter and you can do this with Gaussian blur, sharpening noise, and then HSB is coloring. But I'm going to go with opacity because I want to fade in. I'm going to set this at zero. I'm going to come over here and I'm say my other keyframe is here at 100. It's going to populate it for me. And it's going to have a fade in. Gives it a little bit more of a dramatic effect, but this has also been helpful with text or if you want to have it faded in. As always, thank you for watching this video. Be sure to hit that like and subscribe button down below. Leave a comment of what you want to see next, and we'll look forward to seeing you next time. Thank you so much.